I'm not taking you to another country to start a new life, okay? I want you to fix the life that I have right now. I, I work at the border. I'll be back in like eight hours, okay? The window's cracked. Don't worry about it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Border Officer, where today we are going to be inducted into the SCP Foundation. You guys might remember that I came so close to pulling it off last time before this little old desiccated turd decided to kick the bucket and give me a game over. So today, things are going to have to be different. Things are different. Well, I, I realized that when you're not screwing around in this game, it's a lot easier. Like, rather than frivolously spending my money on gambling and strippers, I invested it, okay? I got four chickens and four cows. Three cows. Huh? Damn it. Okay, it's not perfect, but the point is, a good cow gives you milk, which you can then sell to the pawn shop for a profit. A good stripper doesn't. Unless you're into that kind of thing, in which case it probably costs extra. Everybody is happy and healthy and warm and fed, except for the cow, I suppose. I'm happy and I have $86, which probably makes me one of the wealthiest people in Stavronska. And it's day four, okay? We only have two shifts at work and then we should be SCP material. I'm not even really sure what the job entails, but anything is better than this job. So we already knew that having more energy meant that you could work for longer. But I hadn't realized until replaying the game that working for longer means you're more likely to encounter different kinds of people. Like I ran into a doctor covered in blood and beautiful women, beautiful cleavagey women, none of which were interested in becoming my wife. But I'm gonna hold out hope in that if we chug an energy drink and we're real hyped up for work, we can have a long prosperous day, get ourselves that SCP position and a double D mail order bride. Sir, you are neither beautiful yeah, yeah. or cleavagey. Yeah, yeah. Hello, my dear friend. Remember yeah, yeah. me, your first school friend? Yeah, yeah. This war has ruined me. I, I came here that. as a last resort looking for work. Yeah, After school, yeah, yeah. I became a translator. Yeah, I got a one-year work yeah. permit. I paid a lot of money for this permit, man. All right. Uh, one-year translator, Edward Lukianko. I, I shouldn't even try pronouncing these names anymore. It's not worth it. Uh... Things look all right. Oh, wait. You're supposed to have vaccine papers, right? That's the face of somebody who hasn't had his vaccines. <laughs> yeah, sorry about this, Chief. I really can't be letting cholera into the country. I'm trying my best oh, to get a new work. position. I really don't want any trouble, so I'll see you later. Yeah, the fact that his mask was going through the back of his head doesn't really bode well for his health. Do you think I could just shout over the intercom, SCP and beautiful women only? Mm -hmm. What can I do for you, lazy mm -hmm. eyes? Mm -hmm. I'm a famous actor. I can mm -hmm. show if you want. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure oh, you are. I you have... don't take off your mask. What's the purpose of your visit? Migration. Kind of like how your eyes are migrating away from one another. <laughs> All right, let's take a quick look here. Migration, uh-huh. Sava, you are not a criminal. Numbers look all right. Krasnoyev means that you need this, which you have, and the numbers look all right. You got those lazy eyes in the picture. You got your cholera. And were you here to work? Migration, no. So you don't need a work permit. So I'm just going to give you a quick scan. Make sure you don't got anything on you. Sometimes this thing gives false positives. Other times it finds a fork in your spleen. Okay, listen, that's your business and my, not mine. <laughs> you can shove a fork up whatever you want. Here you go. We always need more ugly people here in Stavronska. Yeah, we can't let any of the beautiful ones in, that's for sure. That better not be a mistake. Right? I, I did everything right. Shouting at my computer for 90% of this. Next. Next. Please prepare your documents. No, I I want to yell SCP beautiful women only. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to keep getting gross little potato men like this guy. Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, hey. Hello, huh? You're lucky 70% of people are unemployed. What the purpose of your visit? Yeah. Migration. Yeah, I got this job in a lottery, okay? Um I don't suppose your name will be something that rhymes with Shmyvanovich. Yeah. 
All right, then. Uh, I'm just gonna... Have I ever mentioned that this button confuses me? I've got, like, a foot of bulletproof glass to either side of me, and yet when I push the button, I get, like, a thin That's fence. Yeah, a thin fence that you can see through, and I'm pretty sure when he flips me off, his hand comes through it. Go ahead. I know, I know you're gonna flip me off. They all do. There, there it is. Yeah, you see, it, it kind of clipped through there. Bread, can I put in a work order for better... If everything, it's it's not gonna happen, is it? <laughs> Maybe he'll let him go. Nah, that's that's not his job. Okay, I'll, I'm not gonna tell him how to do his job. He won't tell me how to do mine. Next. Next. I think that's actually me yelling it, right? It's not a recording. I'm just very good at repeating myself. Oh, okay. Yep, he's slowly jogging for it. <laughs> Every friggin' time. Hold on! I'll get to him. There we go. These guys don't want to do anything about it, do they? They're just gonna watch him. Don't worry, guys. I got it. There we go. They're really just not getting paid enough, okay? Oh, crap. What were you saying? Migration? Something not in English? You're not wearing a mask, so... I don't even want to touch that. 99% sure I'm not supposed to let you... in here. Huh. Did you know that the bottom of my approval stamp isn't green or embossed with anything? It, it's just white. <laughs> uh, can I maybe just, uh, there we go, right? We'll, we'll just give you a, a couple, just, just a, there we go. I'm sure one of those will count. I don't suppose you want to pick these up, do you? Uh, I'm just going to have to wash my hands. We don't have hand sanitizer around here, okay? Any kind of alcohol we got to drink. <laughs> that wasn't a mistake, right? No mask. We're good. I think I should be keeping an eye out for somebody with a gas mask. I think I got to let two more people into the country for the SCP Foundation, and then we'll be good. What is it with people showing up here today without masks on? Dude, again, I don't want to touch anything you're touching. Everybody has a price. How much do I have to pay? Oh, you, you sweet summer child. Do you have any idea who you're talking to? I'm the richest man in Stavronska. I could buy and sell your twink ass. <laughs> Not interested. You're lucky that I don't. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna scan you anyway. Maybe I can get you for uh, a bomb. Get you for, what, what can I get you for? A bomb? A, a butcher knife? I knew it. <laughs> Hopefully butcher knives okay, are illegal. Butcher. Right, he, he could just be a, a butcher. Uh, Fred will sort it out. Fred, you got this, right? Let's just watch out. He's got a knife in his lung. Okay, I'll see you later. And the verdict is... Knives are illegal. Go figure. Because I flew through the first four days, I made quite a few mistakes, so I'm actually skating on thin ice. If I get any mistakes, they're gonna dock me pay. Hey, I've been waiting for you. Did you not get my messages? There's something leadership wants you to do. This is your last request. Get back immediately after reading. Then we start the revolution. Two important men will arrive tomorrow. Let them in. Your studies will be appreciated. Again, doesn't give a name. I was concerned last time that she didn't give a name. The end is approaching. All right. Well, hopefully I can survive till the end this time around. I'll see, not you, but your people tomorrow? Okay, the mystery continues. That's good, we, we had a good day at work. No mistakes and we killed some people. I can't believe I have max happiness and $133. The two probably go hand in hand now that I think about it. We can actually keep our car filled up with gas. We can get... Spare tires and antifreeze and oil and give me one of everything. Yeah, I'll take It costs nothing Because I'm max happy it costs literally zero so can I just buy you out of antifreeze? <laughs> oh Come on really when I'm rich everything is free you have got to be kidding me all right, well, you know what? We're just gonna put it all in the car, right? I think the antifreeze goes there. Uh-huh, perfect. Okay, close you. And then we're gonna fill up the trunk. Already had a little bit. That's fine. You can never have too much. <laughs> I can't believe that. What, what about the tires? Oh, they're not free. Okay, it's just a discount of four. But because things only cost four, they're, they're free. That's amazing. I love that so much. <laughs> oh my god. 
Did you paint your car white because it was a dick with a red? Okay, well, hold on a second. Maybe we could just do a little something. No? Wasn't sure if I needed to double tap. Well, that's disappointing, but I, I can't really be that upset. I'm rich, I could buy a new car. What are you willing to bet that the convenience store has a whole bunch of stuff that would normally cost $4 and now cost five finger discounts? <laughs> I already filled up my trunk with antifreeze and oil, but you know what? I get chocolate and cigarettes and food and coal. I'll, I'll fill my pockets, I'll keep my family happy. I, I don't need the gun. Okay, just put away the gun. We don't need to be threatening anybody. <laughs> We're already super, super happy about this. Oh, things cost two? Ooh, I don't know. It's a little, okay, dollar beers, yeah, I can take a couple dollar beers for her uncle, uh, a couple dollar cigarettes for my wife. Uh, I think I already got chocolate for my son. Never have too many energy drinks, actually, I could probably chug a few of them right now. There we go, and then I'll put some more in my inventory. Huh? Should I have gotten food and warmth for my family? <laughs> can I drop items in this game? Holy crap, being rich is insane. This is absurd. I've never experienced this before. Um, it's probably fine. I, I think I got a little bit in the fridge. I'll be happy tomorrow. If anything, this is a huge exploit that I should have used in the past, right? I could use $10 to go to the club, get pissed drunk, be super happy. Strippers make the world go round. And then I could use that happiness to buy everything. So I should do that every time I need to spend more than $10 because I would be netting profit. Get out of the roads. Is that guy? Was he just wearing ear pods? Oh, what the hell? Why? It's always the dude in the red car. Get out of the road, you goddamn lunatic. Uncle Igor has his beer. Son Igor has his chocolate. Uh, potato wife has her cigarettes. So I think we're good. Everybody's happy. I should be able to go to sleep. I'll get a nice long rest. I'll wake up tomorrow morning. And, uh, okay. Haven't had that happen before. <gasps> My wife just threw herself at me. <laughs> wow, she really doesn't want me to get that mail order bride. Um, nobody's hungry, nobody's cold, nobody's sick, but I should probably use the food and heat anyway, right? I got enough money for more, I can't risk it. We're doing great, we're doing great, honey. Just stay the hell away from me, that was terrifying. I honestly wonder if it's a bad idea to point out the exploits and the problems with this game because I kinda don't want them to be fixed. <laughs> like not only do they make it a little bit easier to play but they're hilarious. So like the last thing I would want is that cow to stop mooing after it dies or for things not to be free because I'm a happy boy. Just, just keep it in there, it gives the game some character. Speaking of character, do you think we should uh, I'm kind of curious what happens if I just get out. What if we just get out and go talk to her? And what if I don't have a car? Did I solicit something else? <laughs> she looks like a bit of a lady of the evening. Hello, ma'am. Yes, hi. Hi, good to see you. What are we doing? It's, you are very... Why is everybody like eight feet tall in this game? <laughs> is it the heels? You also look kind of dark, like, like, dirty. This is for science. Okay, we're good. Yeah, hop in, sugar tits. I totally didn't just try to shoot you in the face. <laughs> Hello, handsome, thank you for stopping. No, thank you, I should have ran her over. I, I should have seen that if last episode <laughs> was a freak accident or not, because you can't run over other people in this game. It was just that one hitchhiker that we don't talk about anymore. Okay, just keep it on the down low. But everything else just makes you stop dead in your tracks. Like, check this out. I'll get some speed. I'm going, what, 40 miles an hour? I don't know. What is Stravant? What the hell is happening? <laughs> Screw it. Don't care. I just want to try to hit somebody with my car. And the giant with the mask is just like, what the hell was that? It just dawned on me. If the mail order brides don't come with me, why don't I make them come with me, right? What if I don't want your money, lady? What if I just want you to come live with me? <gasps> Who's to say I ever bring you to your destination? <gasps> Won't you just live in my car? 
I'm really curious what's about to happen. I, I, I never thought of this before. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna drive. We're gonna have a good day at work. We'll go home. We'll introduce you to the rest of the family. Everything will be fine. I'm not kidnapping somebody. Shut up. Oh, oh, okay, that's karma, that's karma. Yeah, don't worry, sweetheart, okay, I, I can fix this. I must have a spare tire, right? I, I could buy a tire factory for 106 grevens. <laughs> Please, t yeah, there we go, okay. Just uh, switch these out. There we go, easy peasy, and I'm probably gonna need to drink a couple of these. Oh yeah, we're, we're good, we're golden. Don't even worry about it. Back on the road, back to my huh? basement. I'm not taking you to another country to start a new life, okay? I want you to fix the life that I have right now. I, I work at the border. I'll be back in like eight hours, okay? The window's cracked. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You'll be perfectly fine. My neck is also cracked. Every time I step out of the car, that happens, and I don't understand why. <laughs> okay, good day at work. We need to let two SCP people in, and then we're good. Now, we already know that the SCP people will be identifying mm -hmm. themselves. And it won't be by wearing a prison outfit. So I'm just not even gonna give you the time of day, lady. Okay, I'm a very important individual, so... You could just take all your paperwork back. I don't care, you don't need to go back to prison, you just can't stay here. I love that I can treat Stavronska, my country, as if it's closing time at the... Bar. That kind of looks like a prison outfit as well. Uh, I'm alone in this life. Please pass me across the border. I'm not guilty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All very interesting stuff. Okay. Viva Stavronska! So I now need to find myself a mail order bride who will be better looking than the one I have trapped in my car. You are neither good looking nor allowed in. Unless you got an SCP card, bud. I'm, I'm not seeing one. That's definitely another prisoner outfit. <laughs> you see, when you have a lot of energy, things are quite different. They just keep throwing you slow balls. That guy was definitely a real slow ball. Here we go. I recognize this little slick bean. How are you doing? Hello, comrade. Oh. SCP Rise SCP. Volomir Volkov. He was actually a bad person on the wanted list in like day two or three. So it's a little concerning that I need to let him in right now. But at the same time, I got to get this okay, ending. So I'm just going to hand you that and uh, take a pay cut, unfortunately. Right? He's, he's not an enemy of the state today. But oh, that's my fourth fault. A lot of papers missing. Yeah, that, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, fourth, so I'm not actually losing any pay yet, as if I need it. You are a sketchy looking individual. What can oh, yeah. I do for you? Hello, comrade. Oh, very sketchy looking individual. And again, I'm pretty sure you were on the wanted list a couple days ago. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to give you an approval. See you later. Just put in a good word for me, okay? I, I want to get in with the SCPs that screw people, not the ones that eat people. That, that'd that be preferable. And yeah, 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 okay. You're going to give me two mistakes. Fourth fault. Okay, good. Yeah, good. Great. Everything's going fine. Just got to keep an eye out for these three. So we did everything that was asked of us from the SCP. Now we just need to... Survive until tomorrow, and I don't see how it's possible for me to get a game over right now. <laughs> Things could not be going better. Oh, and you're still here. You actually just startled me. I completely forgot about you. <laughs> Let's get you to your new home. Did I mention that I have a son? That's probably something that's important to tell somebody before you marry them, right? I also have a dog named Zeke who you're gonna love, and another wife who you Probably won't so much. She's kind of nice. She tends to throw herself on me in the middle of the night and scare me, but you're welcome to do something like that. Uh, yeah, d don't worry about the neighbors. They're just uh, a bunch of kooks. <laughs> Idiots are making a bad impression. Okay, it's bad enough that it turns to a dirt road and I have to drive down the middle of nowhere to my little shack in the woods next to the murdered neighbor. Don't pay any attention to the dead cows, the dead neighbors, none of that, okay? Just just close your eyes till we get there. 
Zeke, it doesn't look like she wants to come out quite yet. Okay, she might need a little time to adjust, so you just guard her tonight, and I'll go sleep on the one tiny little bed that I have. Actually, in all reality, there's not enough room for three people here anyway. <laughs> and I was supposed to buy food and fuel and hay and worms, and I was so excited to get her home that I never even thought about this stuff. It's it's fine, right? It, it's fine. You're still perfectly happy, so I can get into a little fight with you and everything will be all right. <laughs> Let's just go to sleep. We'll wake up tomorrow morning. Everything will be fine. We'll have a new SCP job, right? No food in the fridge. There's nothing to burn. Um, Wife and uncle are sick, but we can afford medicine, so that's not too bad. We're just gonna... What? There was a... Commander at the door woke up the next morning. Wait, what? We launch a legal investigation about you. We suspect there's a connection with an illegal organization. You were found guilty. You're going to jail. The family was miserable. We have a stuff world? Are you kidding me? It wasn't because I kidnapped that lady. Right? I'm 100%. Oh, that was the end of the game. I didn't get a game over last time. I got the end of the game because the SCP ending is the fact that they're not actually with SCP. They're just dumb criminals that fool stupid me. All right, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Border Officer, guys. Just the fact that it took me hours to get to the point where I could record this video and then record it for hours just to get the exact same disappointing ending as last time is just such a kick in the nuts. So if I didn't help the SCP people, would there have been another day? Is there an ending or does it just go on forever? Are there more rules that come or, or new people? Or If you guys want to find out, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and I'll return to kidnap even more women. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.